what you get for being naughty. Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea, and we have a problem right now. And the fix involves these lovely things. So, I don't love to do this. It's not like it's inhumane or anything. It's just kind of an inconvenience, but we have two what were first calf heifers nursing off of each other and that's not good. They need to stop milk production. I'm in the golf cart right now, can't tell. It's pimping. Um, we weaned them so they stop milk production. That way they'd actually, you know, gain some weight, recover, all of that good stuff. Well, they decided they just want to nurse off of each other. I just keep some chicken that's running around like a crazy thing. So we gotta go put these things in their noses so they physically cannot nurse. Um, they can still eat feed, all of that good stuff. They just will not be able to actually like suck in their nose. Yeah, I love first cat peppers. I see you. One of them's mine, one of them's my parents. That's the baldy right there, and then it's the heifer right back there. They're gonna love this when I put this in your nose. All right, so see if I can get them by myself, maybe. Let's see how these ladies like to smoke. Okay, I don't need any of Those two. All right, so it just goes in there. Um, this is adjustable. You slide it in, get it so it's not like fall out. It's not like pushing on her nose too bad. But then she physically cannot get up and nurse. This is going to get her way. But she'll still be able to eat and all of that good stuff. She just won't be able to nurse. If she can get over her life and quit this crap. Uh, I gotta go with the other one because she snuck out of the gate. So she's a jerk. But one down. Okay. Come on, Tootsies. Quit. Really? Nice, get out. Pop, 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 pop. Easy peasy. What done? I'll take it off in five, seven days before 10 for sure. Otherwise, there can be issues, but. That's what you get for being naughty. <sighs> Come on, little buddy. Go find the hole. Don't eat the corn. Go left. Okay, bye. See you later. <laughs> Looking cute. The other one is back there having the time of life. And we've seen a couple of riding, so that's not ideal. It sucks. Especially that one. Cause that's a favorite so hopefully they're just playing but not feeling good oops is mom going back to the feedlot so she's got to get slowly acclimated to higher grain feed and then she'll go up over there since she didn't have good milk for her baby so it's been a while since we've had 
first cat that first cows in general nurse on each other and I was like thinking the other day dang we're doing pretty well with that right haven't had any issues haven't had to use those things in a while and then those two decided to just ruin all of my celebration inside my head the other day <sighs> jerks but we need them to gain condition they don't need to be producing milk by nursing on each other they're just going to continue producing milk and like they're two and a half years old they don't need to be nursing at all <laughs> like they haven't had milk in two years so Ness is eating a gourd if you're wondering hey do you like that gourd <laughs> so just really inconvenient but this should stop them hopefully and then we'll take them out like i said in a week or so before they have any chance to like fuse to the inner side of their nostrils which is the risk of 10 days or more so we'll take them out but these little turds I got it out is there a little bit, Tittos? Yeah, I'll have to go look. Up top. There must be some in the middle because they just knocked a little bit. Yeah, I'll go up top. I'll climb if you can hand me the thingy. There's I'll... a few steps on the inside of that one so you can crawl Is down there? easy. Okay, yeah. perfect. Climb up here. <laughs> Well, I can eat this till we can feed it with Crete feed, hopefully soon, if it gets delivered. Really? Really? Let's not do this. Yeah, get your foot out. You are a jerk. Ed, you are nice and I love you. Thank you very much. We are on our last soybean field of the year of at least my dad's there's one more for my uncle since those two farm together and kind of share equipment and stuff um he has one more field but this is our last soybean field and there's not much left if you can't tell so i came to see what was going on the last little adventure of it i'm gonna come back here dad's honking at me being a weirdo but you know good times it's just like creeper status over there just in the truck watching me do all this. Just so you know, I'm trying to multitask right now, and I I don't know where my drone is. It's really high in the air, so I'm going to try to find it here. I can see where I'm at, but I do not know. <laughs> oh yeah, we're real high. Look at, I'm walking. Having fun trucking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no hunters on the road, so I'm telling you. <laughs> They're just gonna get the vibe that you don't like hunters. As long as they keep their vehicles parked off the roadway, I'm happy. Yeah. When they park in the middle of the road, then I can roam. Hmm. Dad and his brother farm together, so brother Dave is in the combine. Normally there's a grain car driver, he must have left. And then I just exist, I don't do anything really that exciting. But dad's the trucker, so this is what he does. I asked dad if this is, he's gonna bring this to the elevator right away, this load. He said yes. And he's like, why, are you gonna go with me? Yeah. So, Dad and I, just kidding right now, I'm gonna go truck, take you to the elevator so you can check it out. Last little bit. You can't see it, but it's just 
a non-existent strip of beans. And our soybeans are officially done for the year. Yeehaw! turn your radio off and now he's gonna be a jerk about it but maybe they like the music better than your voice they can't have the music or YouTube will get mad and I'm not getting my account flagged so here we are your fans don't like real music anyway okay I think some of them would <laughs> we're a rock family here so we hauled all of our beans to town this year all right while we wait we're gonna drill them with questions from you guys how long have you been farming they're basically asking how old you are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 91, I graduated from college, and I've been farming since. Oh, yeah. And, but I also had a SAE project in high school as a sophomore, so technically. Before that. So you missed out on the 80s. They were asking about the 80s. If you're I started farming in the 80s. That's why yeah. I'm tight. That's what we <laughs> Careful with this money. If you had to pick one tractor to have, that we have right now, or you've had in the past, or you haven't had, what would it be? Find the brand new Steiger. Okay, good to know. <laughs> At Case IH. <laughs> I didn't know if you would be like uh, one of the whites or any of the other ones from the past, or the Olivers. Oh, uh, that, that, that was kind of a bad nightmare. Nope, okay, good to know, good to know. Uh, do you prefer crops or cattle? I know this answer myself, but you can tell them. Right, cattle. What? What? I had to tell him. I literally was like, can we have more cows? And he was like, I'm a homebody. I get sick of... If you of, do the work. Sometimes I get sick of the long days in the field. Well, so. right if you ask him outside of harvest, he'll probably tell you it's not cows. Okay, do you like the feedlot or the cows more then? Right now, the feedlot. are making money. <laughs> not that the cows aren't. You're just not seeing it right now. I was the reason for the new barn, so there's that. But good times. And... Finally, how do you feel about John Deere equipment? Keep it PG, there's kids that watch my channel. <laughs> blank, blank, and horse, blank. <laughs> yeah. I will never, ever, 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 ever own a John Deere. I don't think I've ever driven a John Deere. <laughs> uh, now you know. Do they unload you here, or do you have to unload yourself? What a nice guy. Really gotta keep him moving. Keep it all organized. automatic they're so fancy we have another truck but that's the hay truck now one more question favorite piece of equipment purchased in the last five years that either has changed your life or made your life easier go he's thinking thinking face. I was going to say the same thing. Good job. Good answer. To the back. Oh, for those of you that don't know a lot about soybeans, um, I said to ask dad to verify this, but 
most of it will turn into soybean meal and then also biodiesel and then the soybean meal since there's a lot of hog barns in our area that's kind of a lot of the feed essentially either pellet form or powder form that the pigs eat they eat a lot of soybeans in the finishing world and even as babies so that's what soybeans go for we don't do anything with them feed wise we were feeding soy syrup we used to have some soy syrup i guess with the calves um but otherwise cows eat a lot more corn than they do soybeans so there's that i'll be back he's gonna get the ticket Good old time with my dad, asking him questions. He is a quiet man until you get a couple beers in him, <laughs> and then he'll talk more. But he is getting sassier, so I think slowly we'll see him continue to come out of his shell in the world of my videos on YouTube. So if there's any more questions and things you want to know, drop them in the little comments, so I'll make sure the next time we have a video that I, he's in here and has time, we'll run through them, but he has a smell on all the things. I'm still learning about the crop side of things a lot more on average, and I'm much more confident in corn. I mean, like, two years ago, I knew absolutely nothing. A year ago, I really figured out, like, corn and all of that stuff, because cattle eat corn, that translation was a lot easier on the science, I understand. It's just, like, the, all of the extra stuff. Dun, 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 dun. There's not a lot of fields left of beans. There's a couple here, I guess, but those are playing it later, those ones. I empty the last couple hundred bushels that are in the grain pot. That was a nice little look into the crop side of things that I definitely am not as well versed and confident in, but. We are done with our soybeans now. So now it is on to my uncle's last quarter of beans. And then we're into the world of corn. And that's the chaos and craziness and all the good stuff. Since beans yield much lower than corn does, you're talking 50-ish is what we average this year, even in a drought. So we're pretty, pretty, pretty content with that. Um, actually relatively surprised, even considering one of our fields had some big issues with Emergence and weed pressure and the iron chlorosis, artificial chlorosis, all that good stuff. Um, we're pretty happy with that. So anyways, beans usually are in that 50 to 60 range in our area. And then corn, you're getting the 170, the 180, the 190, the 200, the 220 potentially. Um, our like silage corn adjusted to 170, stuff like that. But that yield is so much higher. So it's a lot crazier. This field over here, I know I haven't talked about it in a hot second. Let me down. This cornfield that you're seeing right here, um, that's also ours. So that is the first hybrid I've ever picked out. It is the NK007, um, so it's like James Bond. I talked to dad and I was like, can we please just try it? I've heard really great things. I love seeing the plots last year and I wanted to just see if I knew anything that I was talking about. Well, we'll find out very soon. It has looked really good all year. It has an artesian trait, which essentially helps it in drought years. It keeps it going um it just can handle that drought stress without moisture a lot better so i'm excited to see how that trait um plays out with the yield potential on the 007 fingers crossed everyone <laughs> say a prayer that it goes well and i get the approval to pick hybrids again most everything was pretty insanely drought tolerant this year just because we did not have the moisture last year but that is the rundown on crops. They're gonna move the rest of the stuff yet yeah, tonight. We have to finish that quarter of soybeans and then we'll be on to corn. Uh, yeah, the next day or so. So, not going too shabby. I've had a few little mishaps like the auger on the combine <laughs> getting bent and having to completely redo while I was gone in Canada. But yeah, Ness and I are gonna go wrap up chores, but thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, I'm an open book, so I'm happy to answer them. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button, come back more often, but we'll see you next time.